Matt and I are in Costco today. Um, I came the other week and I didn't do a come shop with me because um, we were still very much kind of just coming out of the beginnings of lockdown and I didn't feel it was good timing but and also because I had Anthony with me and he hates it, anything that makes me filming but I thought I'd do one today so here we are doing a come shop with me in Costco. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. These my straighteners have started to get really, really hot all the way up the handle now, which I'm sure they're not meant to. And I do like the babulous ones. Yeah. I don't think today is a day for new straighteners. It's up to 2:30. Yeah. It's up to 230 degrees, which is what my current one is. It says 10 heat setting. Does anybody, does anybody ever use their straighteners on anything less than the top setting? I never ever do. <laughs> And then there's a water flosser, which I always think looks terrifying. They're £65 plus that. Very nice Osprey ladies' purses. These are £20.38, including that. I do like Osprey stuff. It has a nice resale value as well. For those of you who are eBay resellers, if you see one of these at the car boot sale, or anything Osprey, pick it up. It always, always goes well. They're very nice. However, the thing about, um, thing about Costco is because of the way they present it, you can't open that and see what it's like inside, and I wouldn't buy a purse without knowing what the inside was like. They've still got the instant pots in Costco. This is the, uh, that looks like about five litre, although I might be wrong. That's the nine in one, 90 pounds for the instant pot. My pressure cooker was, yeah, 5.7 litres. My pressure cooker was cheaper than that, but uh, the instant pot is very highly recommended. And then there's the grills. I'm thinking about getting my mother a sandwich maker, but I don't think she needs anything as large as that. Bearing in mind it's only her. I have been thinking I would like some new cookware recently, but 128.38 is a lot of money. I don't need half of it, you see. I don't need frying pans. I'd like this lidded pan. I do need the larger pot. I like the look of this. These are only seventeen ninety six, which is a good price. Anodized interior, glass lid. I presume it goes in the oven as well. Although I'm not sure with the handles because I can't see the handles properly. Oh no, it's just a metal handle. So yeah, we go in the oven as well. Yeah. Need it, Le Creuset. No price. Love these. Look how fabulous these are. It's a set of six mugs. I'm going to show you the price first. They're only 17 62 for the set of six. And look, they're brilliant. <laughs> they're excellent. <laughs> There's a cat and a raccoon. I think that's a llama, although I'm not sure. It might be meant to be a dog. I think it's a llama. Or a husky. <laughs> They're brilliant. They are brilliant. I love those. For our no fruit, for our no fruit to be never buy. Oh, 
that's what Caroline said she bought yesterday, not not from Costco, but she said I've just bought a couple of duvet. Yeah, she said you just washed the whole thing. That's feel nice. I'm going to put away my winter clothes and some winter duvets and things and I've been meaning to get space bags and now here they are so yeah we'll get those I'm going to treat myself to a pack of scones may have to share them out with the neighbours because um, neither Anthony nor Natalie will eat them and I don't need 12 scones but I'm sure I can find neighbours to share them with baked goods at Costco. If you've never been to Costco and you get the opportunity to go by the way, make sure you check out the bakery section. It's all baked fresh daily and it is amazing. Absolutely delicious stuff. I like this one best. Don't really need it today though. We're gonna get some loo rolls because we didn't get any last time we came and we're running a bit low now. Yeah, that's the one. 
Whoop, steady. That is £12.58 for 40 rolls. That's an amazing price. About 25p a roll. What? Just started pushing. About 25p a roll. Give or take a penny or two. Maybe a bit more. 30p a roll. And it's uh, it's not bad quality. And you get plenty of sheets on the roll as well. I've been known to buy this one before. That's £10.78 for the giant pack. But at the moment we're, we're using... Um, Surf pods. They don't have the surf pods here, but I get them in home bargains or whatever. And they're pretty cheap. Beer aisle, absolutely no, no interest to us whatsoever. Neither of us drink. <laughs> well, Nat has a drink occasionally, but not beer. This is the, all the old doll books, but it's the plays version, so quite interesting if you've got kids who enjoy acting stuff out. It is £6 for that pack, I think that's really good. There's a beautiful copy of Alice. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, illustrated by Mina Lima. Interesting to see Alice as a redhead, because you always think of Alice as being blonde, don't you? In the, um, in the original Tennille illustration, she was a brunette. It was only Disney that made her blonde, and this has a kind of a pop-up book section. I can't, can't operate it because I've only got the one hand. No, I can't do it. It wiggles slightly. <laughs> but yeah, that's a lovely version. And then there's also the Jungle Book, Peter Pan, and Beauty and the Beast. I think there's just the four. Those are 10.99 each, and I think they're gorgeous. They'd make a lovely gift. This one's the jungle book. That falls out to make dancing monkeys. Beautiful, beautiful book. And then just here, look, there's the tiger who came to tea and that's a pop-up book as well. Sophie opened the door and there was a big furry stripy tiger. The tiger said, excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I can have tea with you? And Sophie's mummy said, of course, come in. Are you reading the book? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that fab? <laughs> If you are someone who likes to buy books for children for presents, then Costco is definitely the place to come. They have beautiful books and they're really good prices. And here are the original Roald Dahl books. These are not the plays, that's the actual pack of the books. And those are $16.99 for the set, so that's quite good as well. 
gorgeous cloth bound copy of Peter Pan in a hardback case, bear with. Look how gorgeous that book is, that is stunning. Oh, those are beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful books. So there's Peter Pan, and then Anne of Green Gables, The Wind in the Willows, and another different copy of Alice in Wonderland. Look how beautiful these yeah, are. And these are only 4 99 4 99 And then there's the secret garden there as well. I don't know if I can reach the secret garden. There's the secret garden. Have you not? They're on the shelf downstairs. Not downstairs from here. They're on my shelf, the full set, the entire set. These are gorgeous. Okay, so we got small haul time. I got two crates of Pepsi Max because Pepsi Max is life. And one of them's burst open because Pepsi Max is an arsehole. <laughs> two of those. Natalie bought a coverless, coverless duvet. duvet which Caroline bought. It's all Caroline's fault. Caroline bought one yesterday and put the idea into our heads or something. So this was 30 quid. And the idea is you wash the whole thing. Yeah? Yeah. It'd just be good for summer because I've only got a big, thick winter duvet. So when it gets hot, I can't sleep with no covers and I really struggle with only no having... <laughs> yeah. And then... Natalie's also got a crate of Coke because Coke is life. Because she's a sugar Pe fiend. Because Pepsi Max is not life. She's Pepsi Max is not life. She tells lies. Pepsi Coke Max is life. life. Pepsi Max is life. Go go go! I got the space bags. Space bags for packing up the winter clothes. I'm not good. I'm gonna lie down. Or you glad you get to see me eat some fruit? But um, we got a crate of dog food just because. Although we don't actually need this right now, it seems silly to come to Costco and not buy a crate of dog food while we were here. So we've got a crate of dog food. We got my book. We got some oranges. Got a massive thing of satsumas. Right. There's a story behind this. We went to Aldi in Iceland the day before yesterday and I bought some satsumas. Recently, the only other satsumas I've eaten have been from Costco. They're really good. You're doing some very dodgy camera. The Aldi ones had no flavour, so I gave them away. To people you didn't like? Yeah. Okay. Got a big bag of rolls just because bread rolls. It's burger season, isn't it? It's barbecue time. We don't have a barbecue. We do have barbecue. We don't, we don't have a barbecue or friends. We though. do have a barbecue. We don't have friends. We're not allowed friends around for a barbecue if we wanted one. And a big pack of scones, which, as I said earlier on, I'll probably share with neighbours. Natalie bought a book. What did you buy, Natalie? The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. It's. I think it's a new one. I've never seen it before. But it's a Hunger Games one. And from looking at it, I think it's the story of President Snow before he was president. Okay. And Bob finally, roll. toilet rolls. Lots of them. So absolutely no danger of us running out of blue roll anytime soon. Yay! What in it life? I look a bit red in the face, it's quite hot. That has been a mini Costco come shop with me and a very mini haul. I realised that if you watch the American YouTubers, I'd look like I don't know how to haul because those guys spend a fortune. But yeah, mini, mini haul, mini come shop with me. Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this, don't we, Nat? Yeah. What have we got? We've got food. I've got a hot dog. Natalie's got pizza. Pizza. So I think we're going to possibly move the car to some shade and sit and eat that. And then go home. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and all that jazz. Bye.